what's up guys so back with another video last video was about this next project we picked up i was kind of fibbing when i said i was waiting on parts i mean i really was but there was other things i could have been videotaping and doing took a little break honestly needed it but we're gonna get right back into it and uh you know need to get this damn thing done so today we are gonna be getting this cab ready with all its accessories and whatnot the uh get the wiring harness swapped over all the ac components everything that's under the dash from this truck is gonna go in this cab not sure how much i'll get done today but uh i'm gonna use the gopro head mount so i don't have to keep moving the camera around and see how much i can get done also gotta get all the accessories under the hood then we'll get the doors and hood possibly the fenders off and have them ready for paint so yeah i guess i'll go ahead and get started All right, so good news. They all broke on the bottom. It's a shame this corner's rotted on this fender. Probably end up fixing it, honestly, but we'll see what happens. I may just order new fenders for the mud truck, so I don't have to mess with it. We'll see what happens. Now we can get to our hinges. Those are gonna be 12s, I believe. And I gotta disconnect the pin hinge in here and just slam the door a couple times into your fender it'll be all right all right the door is coming off it's getting in the way fuck this thing Ooh, forgot to disconnect the wire mm. All right, so I got the door off, all the wires from the door disconnected. Gonna try and get these 10 mils off near the windshield. They're kind of in a bad spot. She probably can't see what I'm doing that well. Oh, the first one came out good. Second one out. Third one. Should be one more. Man, it's a shame. This windshield's all good except for this side. There was a big ass hole. It actually looks like the windshield started to melt when this truck was sitting next to the house fire. It's literally all melted away. There's a hole in it. Finally. There shouldn't be much holding this thing. And of course I didn't get the bag for all these all this hardware. I need to take that off. And then we're gonna expertly catalog this down on the floor here for a minute. I think we have some connections behind the speedo. I have one more wire to disconnect. Probably not gonna be able to deal with the camera, so I'll pick it back up in a second. All right, now I really got some room to work. Now that the steering column's out, we can get the wires back here. Maybe something like that. Bam. That's how that's done. Something like that. Alright. So that's the cluster we're going to be using in the mud truck. So we don't want to mess that up. Damn, is it rusting in there too? It definitely is. It's a little bit of rust, but whatever. We know this one works. The harness matches this one, so that's the one we're going to use. This should be ready to come out. Alright, so I'm just getting everything I can see as of right now disconnected from the cab that's connected to the harness. Son of a bitch, we still got one more cable connected. Alright, so this is out. I'm just trying to remember where these cables go for the climate control. And I still got radio connections. Oh, damn it. That was a lot of aftermarket connections. A radio that's still cassette. I don't understand. 
Alright, well, I guess we're cutting wires, and we probably won't be remembering where that shit's going, but it doesn't matter, because we'll have to figure it all out anyway when we put the aftermarket system in this thing. You know your boy's gonna have this thing slamming with at least three tens in the back, waterproof. Uh, yeah, not much room in the cab for any subs, but we'll be running the amp out of here. Mount that bitch to the ceiling, right up here, something like that. All right, so I got everything with the harness unhooked in the cab, all the sensors and computers, whatever you wanna call this, relay, solenoids, or all the shit like that that was bolted up, all disconnected. We're gonna use all this stuff because we know that it works because the truck ran. Uh, I just have to, like I said, I think I'm done in here pretty much. I just have to go unbolt everything from the firewall now and everything should come out all right so i'm gonna disconnect all the wiring here that's connected to the main harness so you got your coil connections that i spliced in to get the truck running all right so it looks like we got some 12s holding some of your grounds 10s and 12s take the whole truck all the little shit apart anyway that'll go on the, the good cab so i think for this side all I gotta do is unhook the headlights and we're, we're good for the harness on this side. Then we got some other things disconnect on that side. All right, everything's disconnected from the harness on this side. All right, so I got my blower motor slash condenser bullshit, whatever you wanna call this. Oh, nice spawn antifreeze all over myself. Oh, that's great. We're going to uh, drain this first and then go put it in the, the other cab here. Damn, I should have recorded that. Oops. Oh, well. Always got to get the good small clips. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is the better one because I know that this original cab was a mud truck. So everything in here electronically and mechanically is questionable. With that being said, we're going to use the parts truck stuff just because we're hoping, keyword hoping, that we're using better parts. So I'll unbolt this. It's got one bolt. Swap it out. And then we'll rip the harness the rest of the way out of that. Here goes our supposed good one going in. All right, so I'm gonna put my grommets in so I don't forget or lose them. I'm getting this motherfucker dirty already, but they're in. Hands are filthy. Paint's gonna be filthy. All right, so we need to get the rest of this harness un unhooked here. I'm gonna do the tail light, headlight, sorry. Looks like we got some wires going to the horn. We'll unhook that. Damn it. Alrighty, the main harness is through the firewall and I'll be able to pull it out here in a second. except uh, the connections in the back of the cab. So this should be a pain in the ass. Gotta do all these steps at once. I'm racing daylight here. So you wanna get this shit right. You don't wanna fucking be messing around with wires to make something work or make the thing run. It's so easy to forget. So we do it all at once here, people. You know what I'm saying? See, I remember all this. This is my marker light here. That's the first thing that's gonna go right through the firewall. Headlight, connector there, go through. Alrighty. And just like that, our harness is through on our driver's side. And all that's left is just connect all the relays and computers and whatnot to the firewall. I'll fish everything through the other side. Alright, so here we go. This is the side marker light feed. Tail light. It's gonna be your first thing through, along with the horn connections and I forget where this goes but we'll figure that out all right so I ran into some problems when I was going to put all the ducts back in for the AC and 
heat and whatnot so i just got this side cut in i'm not sure if somebody just capped these off because they were missing a bunch of parts but there's supposed to be a vent here that i'll have to cut out i'll go ahead and cut this one out and i can put the duct in and one on the other side and we should be good all right so i'm just cutting the circle out all right that should work i think i may have made this one a little too wide all right so i just want to show you guys you know i was talking about my uh defrosters hoses that went up to the dash vents that'll be right here are made out of cardboard so when i took it apart you know as you can expect and i went to the store went to good old rural king and they have what i needed this is for a sink Actually, no, that says washing machine. Huh. This is actually the piece I'll be using to connect from there up to the dash vent. So it fits in there perfectly. And uh, I kind of guessed because I forgot to bring this piece in the store. And it fit perfectly. So I can uh, get all that cut up to length now and, and be chilling. And honestly, I uh, definitely fucked up by getting two. I didn't need this much hose, but we'll have it in case we need to do it on another truck, so. All right, so I'm getting the dash back in. Got a little confused because some things were different from the other truck to this one. So all my uh, vents are connected up now and I'm gonna figure out these climate control cables and which ones go where. Then we'll be able to throw this dash back up. get this thing a little more secured run the four bolts on the top of the dash you gotta have the finesse baby i'm working the two fingers right now you could probably can't even see you know with the little <laughs> dash secured now i can go ahead and plug everything up before putting the speedometer back in all right so i just spent the last 10 to 15 minutes connecting uh all the uh, stuff from the harness to the dash and i ran into one one plug hopefully you guys can see that that couldn't find where it would where it needed to go turns out i have a broken wire up there and i need a new connector yeah i got a broken wire so i'm gonna try and use the connector from parts harness this sucker's all types of messed up as well this is the connection I have off the harness that I'm trying to fill right now. So I'm not sure if it was just empty to begin with or what. I did not know, but I don't know. So we won't worry about it. That's what, we won't worry about it. All right, so I think that's gonna about wrap it up with today's video. Interiors put back together, new harnesses swapped in. So that's good. Was kind of dreading that part, but uh, it was a little easier than I was expecting, but um, I did just get an email that my body lift is delayed another month. And if you guys remember, I'm waiting to put the cabin bed back on till I got that. So that's kind of annoying me a little bit, but we got some other uh, videos to edit. So we'll get that stuff taken care of. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.